And I want to share a word to us this morning. In the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 1, the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible said to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write these, uh, um, Write this, these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tasted those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and you have endured hardship for my name and have not grown weary. Verse 4. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love and the, uh, the love you had at the first time. First. Verse 5. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand. I was reading this word and meditating upon this scripture and this letter to the church of the Ephesus where the letter was written and it was speaking about the people in the church of the Ephesus where now God was speaking and saying I know your deeds I know you have been serving God I know you have been in church I know you have been paying your tithes and your offerings I know you have been in the praise and worship I know you have been in the in the in the team in the media team working doing all you can <clears throat> to the kingdom but now here he comes and he, uh, he says that uh, imagine ananza and akuku appreciate that i know the things you've been doing in church i know the things you've been doing for the sake of the kingdom i know the things you've been doing but he comes here and he say that this is what i have against you after serving after praising us on what you have been doing in church he say that i have this against you i have this one thing against you that you have neglected the first love you have neglected the first love god is not moved by how you can pay your tithe. God is not moved by how you can be doing things in church. God is not moved by how you can participate in the departments of the church. God is moved by the relationship you have with him. God is moved by the, 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 the you time, the relationship you have with him. And this is what God is telling us this morning, that all I want from you is to have a relationship with me. The Bible says in Genesis that anytime he wanted something, he spoke to eat and i and as we were sharing here we say we saw that when you remove a fish from the water it is the fish that dies not the water if you remove the plant from the ground it is the plant that dies not the ground meaning that if we are disconnected from god it is us who are dead and we are having many people who are serving in church and yet they are dead you now look at this the bible said and god told adam you can eat from anything you can eat anything from this place but don't eat from that place that tree don't touch or eat from that tree and the bible say when they ate they when they ate the bible say at when they ate they were driven away from the garden of Eden. now people have discovered where jesus used to eat where he fed the five thousand people where he did the miracles but no one has discovered the Garden of Aden. Why? Because the Garden of Aden, it was not a place. It was the presence of God. So in other words, when Adam ate the fruit, he was disconnected from the presence of God. And the first time we see God coming to the Garden of Aden and calls, Adam, Adam, where are you? Why did he call? Because he, he found that Adam was not in his presence. He found that they were already disconnected from the presence of God. And my message is clear this morning. That God is calling us to the first place. God is calling us to the first love. God is calling us to the place where we used to fast like never before. The place where we used to fear God. Because we are being a generation that no longer fear God. We can sleep outside, partying, doing all kind of manner of things that we are doing outside. And still come in the presence of God and still do the things of God. God is not happy about that. All he's asking us is to go back to the first love. Let us also, as we go back to the first love, honor our fathers pray for them encourage them and as we pray for them and as we encourage them our days in ongezeka because you say honor your father and mother and your days will be added we will have long life here when we honor and respect them and this morning all i'm asking is that let us join together and pray for them yes we pray for them because they are looking fine and yet some of them wanna struggle issues behind yes. 
They are looking good, well, in suits, in ties, yet kuna pains, kuna bitterness wana struggle nayo. Yes. Na ndiyo maana kasema in Songs of Solomon that catch for me the little foxes that eat the vineyard. There are issues inside that are eating the vineyard and I want us to pray for them. Mm. And God will remember them this morning, that God will strengthen them, that God will encourage them. Mm. And as he's strengthening them, they will continue to serve us as sons and as daughters in Jesus' name.